Hi everyone, this is Robin from electricporsche.ca. This is just a quick demonstration of my cell log 8 breakout module. There's not too much to it. It's room for four cell log 8s with all proper terminals to break it out nicely instead of using the rather small uh, JST-HX connector. Turn on the cell logs now. While they boot up, I'll, I'll show the uh, voltage, which has been set to around 3.5 volts for each channel. Now there are three types of alarm. We can uh, trigger a low voltage alarm as you can see on uh, this cell log here we have a differential alarm and the corresponding LED lights up and the multimeter shows open circuit on the alarm loop. You can clear this fault and give the same cell a high voltage alarm which basically does the same thing. And each of the cell logs can, uh, has all three of these alarms and they can be simultaneous. There's no hardware to stop multiple failures from showing through. And starting to beep and getting a little bit annoying as well. Turn on the last alarm. And we see all four LEDs hooked up, or lit up, sorry. Um, this is basically just a Cat5 cable with uh, four LEDs, four resistors, and a connection to power and ground and the relays at the bottom of the cell log board actually turn each of the LEDs on. We'll clear some of these alarms. And one final alarm. Okay, so if you notice the uh, multimeter, as soon as I trigger, we get open circuit. And then as soon as the alarm is uh, turned off, it goes back to uh, a completed uh, circuit. So this would show faults in wiring as well as bad connections and so on either giving you false alarms um, or issues on startup, but either way you're going to know that it's not working versus uh, when it does trigger an alarm having an issue where it doesn't tell you. So the cell logs can be controlled and uh, turned off as a, as a group.